Welcome back to Joel Sports Cards. Today we are running the randomizer machine for count them two 2022 Bowman baseball fat packs. It's like Inception. You see them here in real life. You see them on the screen. There's me. Here's me. It's just a bunch of screens. Nailed it. We are going to be having these given away to one of the subscribers that commented on this video and we are going to go to commentpicker.com, copy and paste that URL, filter out the duplicate users. Let's do the math. Four plus one equals five to get our YouTube comments of 42 unique comments. Thank you to the 42 people that entered SCA. Awesome video. Keep the channel growing. SCA. That's exactly what we want to do. So, Email me at joelssportscards at gmail.com. No uh, punctuation, no caps. joelssportscards at gmail.com. And I'll get you these fat packs free of charge. And know that the next giveaway is coming at 600 subs. I'll be giving away 600 cards from my own personal collection, which may or may not include what is ripped today that starts off on the lower screen and comes to the big one, a 2022 Tops Fire Hobby Box. It's got the dent, and you know that the damaged boxes often bring the most fire. I'm excited for it, two autographs per box, and this is loaded with the checklist that we wish Tops Chrome had. It's a unique product that it's hobby, but it's actually sold in retail. I got this off of Target.com. You can see the odds right there. A lot of different parallels. Now, some are not numbered. The most consistent fire ones will not be. Let's go and just give the cut right at the place of the dent. Let's just dig in to where we need to focus. This box is dented. Target, if it's damaged, I got the video to prove this right now. But... If it's got pure fire, ain't nobody going to complain. So with that being said, let's see if I can still get the uh, box itself to operate the way it's supposed to. It's a little wonky with it all, but we're getting there. That's the fun part of a hobby box is getting the setup. We got it. We got it. The dent's not going to stop us. And we got our packs right here. So without further ado, it's a little sad day, but... It's not a sad day when you're actually ripping packs. So the checklist is phenomenal here. It's what we hope for. It's not just Wander and O'Neal Cruz as the rookies. It's pretty much everybody you would think of. And it's got the top's actual RC logo right now. The design looks different. The cards feel very similar to a, a regular baseball card. And what's interesting is the first name's on the back. But the last name is just on the front there. So Bryson, stop. First rookie that we pull, and folks, if you've seen videos of this in other ways, Josh, Honda, 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 oh. if you see other products of this being ripped, you'll know that there are tons of rookie cards that come from this. A lot of parallels, not as many numbered, and then two specific autographs, which has all of the rookies you want, has a good amount of veterans that are legit, and then some that are just wah, 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 wah. So we'll see. Hopefully you get one good one. Alec Thomas on the rookie. Sonny Gray there. RIP the twin season this year. My goodness. There it is. First one out the gate. Oh, my goodness. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autograph. Hit him, win it, bada bing, bada boom, it starts off big, just as I was saying, I hope we get at least one, the kid, I ain't talking Griffey, Vlad, look at the color, it just pops so nice, now this is going to be one of the scorching SIGs autographs, oh, <laughs> Fun to watch, fun to get it going, folks. It's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. Travis Tripp, hit him with it. Oh, all right. We're going to put this one in a top loader right away because this is what you hope for. Now, that's just one. It looks so good. Now, everyone says it's a, it's a sticker, autos. Folks, that's not a sticker. 
Tops Fire has the ability to not have sticker autos. Breaking news. That was the worst news break impression nation I've ever seen. Good gravy. I'm so stoked on that. A Vladdy goes on the throne no matter what. Sits next to the fire because it's a scorching sig. No Syndergaard and Bryce Harper. You'll see that the backgrounds are different on these. Um, something to be just excited about. You get those different backgrounds. And you can pull a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. signature. <laughs> that is one of the best things that has been pulled here on Joel's sports cards. And it just sort of happened. I actually should have realized that a lot of these, Kyle Lewis, and now we get a die cut here, of, oh, that on Fire Acuna. Oh, Fire Acuna. I'm not a huge die cut fan. This is also like the diest of cuts right there. My goodness. It's just hard to keep die cuts clean. So I'm going to also top load that. Um, but hey, it's, it's Ronald Acuna. So got to be happy about that one. I was saying that these boxes, often the autos actually are really early in the top of the packs and then legitimately might be the last pack we pull. Bottom four for sure. They kind of put one on the top, one on the bottom. So started from the top and now we're here and we'll see what the bottom has to have. Right, Drake? All right. We got a die cut right there. We'll see if it gets thrown status. Ben Attendee. And hey, cool, Frank Thomas, you do get a chance at some vets that are retired, which I think is good. It's not overly heavy in that regard. It's really quite heavy, actually, in rookies, which I think is great. Newt Bar considering we haven't had many. This is Jake McCarthy. And then here's another one of a twin. Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa. Now, this is the fired up. They look phenomenal. I would be more fired up if Korea had gotten us to the playoffs, but I still am happy to see that card right there. Now, this is the Tyson Beck. He does the art on these. Carlos Correa, fun to see that one. They really shine. Folks, for a hobby box that you can buy at retail, I am already 10 out of 10 recommend for this. Carlos Correa. And then here we go. We see it back here, Mike Piazza. Now, this is the fire one. So it's just the red standard, and it's not going to be numbered. So you can see and learn that we'll get a couple of these. Hopefully, one of the big rookies. Shout out if it's Julio Rodriguez. I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. Mickey Betts. And then, who? Mike Schmidt. Who? Mike Schmidt. It's it's just Mike. It's not Mike Jones, Joel. Get, get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your head in the game. Zag Efron. So we got the Piazza. No, oh, I already had a pack just sitting there. We'll wait for that one. Got the Piazza Red. We haven't seen the number yet, but if you are just tuning in, Stephen Kwan was pulled. And that Vlad Guerrero Jr. in the back. Botched in surgery. Can't talk about it. It's just too sad. Justin Turner. Here's another one of the die cuts. To the moon, Juan Soto. They only put the bopper names. And even this one's so die cut -y. You get on the bottom, you get the moon there. So many things. You got to love that there's the big names on these, though. So I, I give them kudos for that. I do legit like the fired up, which is straight cards better. But maybe that's just my preference as a collector. Some people like die cuts. Um, certainly really hard to grade. So be aware of that because there's just so many edges that can get to be a challenge. But they all look cool. So... Take that as a win. And then here we go. Strider, Spencer Strider, just on the IL, but it's had a phenomenal year. Still has a phenomenal mustache. It's really what we're hoping for. And folks, this is what the Hobby Box does. So many packs at such an affordable rate with a huge checklist. I think Fire is going to absolutely take off this year. I'd be really surprised if it didn't just because of you actually get the rookies. Josh Lowe right there. You actually get a ton of cards to get excited about. And there's another one right there. Da -na -da -na -da -na -da -na. Jacob the Grom on fire. There's the die cut again. The dieiest of all cuts on fire. Jacob the Grom. He's a, what you'd call a pretty good baseball pitcher, folks. 
Comment below if you disagree. Give me a take. Push back. Also, tell me if you're now considering buying this product after seeing this. I, I hope it gets more momentum because this hobby gets so in the root of like, hey, the fire's for kids or it's not worth it. Y'all, I'm having a blast right now. And that's what it's about. A blast for a reasonable price. Come on. What else could you ask for in ripping product, right? Don't get in your head that it's like it's fire. It's not, it's not top strong. Yeah, it's actually not top strong. It's got a checklist way better. <laughs> and for that, you should be excited. And the price point is way better. So get stoked that it's not top strong. Brandon Lowe, uh, you saw the name Welker right there. We're going to pull it from here. We got a, this one is a Colton Welker autograph, okay? It's a rookie. It's not as big of a pop as you would hope for. But hey, kind of a shiny one. I didn't see it coming. This is just the standard Topps Fire autograph. I kind of had in my head that it was going to be a last pack. And so this one just kind of snuck up on me. Boom, Welker autograph, okay. There's the two. We didn't get shorted. Thank you. And that Vlad is carrying the box right now. Really, really awesome. We'll put Welker in that pile. And then after the low, we get another red of a card that I'm really excited about. Now, this guy, Alex Kirloff, he's an injury plagued player, unfortunately. And once it's a wrist in baseball, Brandon Marsh, rookie, nice. That can be hard to overcome. But if he gets around to it. He could totally win a batting title. The guy's a clean, pure, professional hitter. That's all you can really ask for in this league. Robert, rookie card here of Wander. Feel the Wander. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning in the Wander. Wander. That's what you're hoping for, folks. The big name. But also, honestly, Julio is probably the bigger name because... He now has rookies that we have access to. So we'll wait and see what comes in this. Now, here's our first parallel of a... Oh, no. It's, is it a parallel? It's flipping out. Pete Alonzo. Love this insert. I actually might not be a parallel. Yeah, it's just orange. The flipping out one is just orange. My apologies, y'all, right there. A flipping out Pete Alonzo right there. Gotta love the, like, graffiti-type font that they use for that. It just looks really clean. Notice how many cards I'm just leaving and top loading because it's an incredible time to be alive. You got Luis Castillo and you got Bo Bichette. Bonos, Bo Flows, Joel Groves. That's what we're hoping for. So please, if you haven't already hit the like button, comment it below, and please become a subscriber so we can get to 600 so we can keep growing and keep giving away cards. Uh, Friedel, not Tyler? TJ, that's right, TJ. There's the guy that we got so excited about earlier. We get his base card right there. Guerrero, Vladimir, cheater. Mitch Hanninger, and another rookie of Gavin Sheets. Not as big of a pop on the rookie. Adalis, yep, Garcia. I don't even know if we're halfway through. There's so many. Uh, I'll tell you what, the, the hobby box is kind of halfway through its existence of holding up right there. There we go. Shohei's doing a little better now that we got that fortified. Cool, and he's the cover boy. I think it's great to have somebody that is actually so revolutionizing the game, pitching and hitting. Baseball needs to highlight him more and more. We got Pujols, we got Ortiz, and we got another Tyson back. Speaking of Shohei, get fired up. He is fired up in that picture. Now, here we go. Here's a rookie. Houston, is this Pena? No. Jake Myers on the orange. Okay. So orange is going to be numbered 299. Not the worst rookie to get. I mean, has actually played, but you see the Houston name and you just hope. You just hope for it. Um, but maybe we'll pull a base Pena or I think we get one more numbered I would expect out of this. So one can hope. Jose, Siri, how's the weather today? We don't have a series, so I never have to worry about that. Captain, if I said a different name, it starts with A. She would start talking. Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently, in Chicago, it's 62 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy sky. Today, you can expect clouds and showers with a high of 68 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Thanks, Alexa. 
She thinks we're in Chicago. Classic. <laughs> All right, we're getting here into the next die cut. We got another to the moon. Miguel Cabrera, Hall of Famer, icon, just a stud hitter. And then Randy Razorini. Probably never say it accurate the first time. A Rosarino. That's a lot better. To the moon, Cabrera on the die cut again. I hope this is the last of the die cuts, to be honest. So that I don't have to keep up with the keep. You know what I'm saying? But there's so many things to be excited about. And so many things still to be pulled. Because this has, I don't even know, there's 20, 20 packs per box. Iconic. Blake Snell. Maybe some color, folks. Let's get pumped. Mike Trout. Well, she was the color. Okay. Ray Lamuto. Okay, here we go. Um... Casey Mize, not the best color to get. And hopefully we get one more. Casey Mize out of 199. Casey Mize. Uh, I do like how the cards look when they have the color behind them. I think it really takes them to the next level. Uh, feels less like Topps Fire and feels like something to be noteworthy. Two first names, Aaron and Hank. Got the old Hank Aaron right there. All right, one more is what we're hoping for out of this. And maybe... One more out of numbered, and then I'd say one more really strong. Unless you like it. It'd be fun to get a Julio. Bobby Witt, just because of the name, would be great. Ricky Henderson right there. Jordan Alvarez. Here's a red. Now, not going to be numbered, but still something. Hey, Acuna Jr. Worse people to get a parallel than Ronald Acuna. Jesse's girl. Jesse Winkler. And then Jose Barrios. J-O as he came into the league as. J-O. Not a common abbreviated initial. J-O right there. J-O's sports cards. Just kidding. There's no A besides or O. I promise you I know vowels. It's not something I have to be reintroduced to. We're going to keep moving on after that little kerfuffle. A rookie card of the man, the myth, the Rodriguez. He's got the Army's men on. It's Julio. Yes, we got one. And there's Bobby Witt's to the moon rookie card. Now, they do put rookie card on it. So, that actually makes... Okay, this one is just the diest of all diest die-cut packs. Got a Christian Yelch. There's too much going on in this pack, folks. I would be interested. Um, obviously, the best two cards are the Witt Jr. and the Julio. Which one pops more? Does the die-cut to the moon have... A little bit more value, or does just the straight Julio base is his momentum and his hype that high that he could carry it? I don't know. To be honest, you have to go check. 130 point. You ever heard of it? If not, please go check it out. Hopefully, you haven't been living on your, under a rock, Patrick Star, for the last decade. We will put Christian on fire in a. Uh, and the top loader as well, just so he can stay nice, not get damaged. Because you never know. Maybe Christian Yelch really rebounds one day and die cuts become the most important thing in the hobby. You'd like to have it clean, folks. Please take care of your die cuts. If Bob Barker was still doing Wow Wheel of Fortune, what is it? Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely blanking. Price is right, about a minute. He wouldn't end with Spade and Nooner Pets. It would be protected die cuts. I can tell. Maybe Drew Carey can take it on as his legacy. I could see Drew Carey being a card guy. No, you know on that. Colton Walker got the auto. Now we get the rookie. Trey Mancini. You see just the fat stack of that base, but also you see the fat stack of rookies that are coming. There we go. A rookie card. Tampa Bay. Oh my gosh, it's Shane. Boz, flamethrower, Tyson Beck. I was getting so excited. It's still got a ton of potential. I don't think Shane's story has been fully written yet. I love the flamethrower card. Not numbered. <sighs> but you just see the rookie. You see the Tyson Beck. Tampa Bay. You just start thinking of things in your head, you know. You just start hoping. And those look really cool. Flamethrower. All rise for Aaron Judge. Almost said a different name, Aaron Jones. Hey, rookie guard, Royce Lewis. Football's on the brain, you know. It's that era. 
that season, time of year, but really Aaron Judge has made a name for himself to keep baseball in the headlines through this fall is actually a huge win for baseball in general. You gotta love that people actually care about a home run chase. So we'll go to Wayne right here. Glad we get the base of Casey Mize, you know. Would have been sad just to get the green. This one, another die cut. They're getting too much. That's my only criticism of Tops Fire. It's just like a couple less die cuts. Maybe something else, you know. A little more number and a little less die cut. That would be prime Amazon River status. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching this far into the video. Once you see the two autos, if you're still sticking around with us, that means you're a true follower and fan of the channel, and I couldn't thank you enough. Eloy Jimenez specifically st stands out and says thank you to you for your contributions here to Joel's Sports Cards. It's nothing without you all. It's just me talking in a room, ripping pieces of cardboard. It's the interaction with the people in the comments that makes it all worth it. We got another rookie here. Joe Ryan. Not a bad one, especially on the PC side of things. We got a red. We got a rookie. It's Ronzi. Ronzi Contreras. We got a red rookie. You got to be happy about that. Not a terrible pitcher either. Got a, got a future. Jaron Duran. Every rookie is coming out of this, folks. We haven't pulled everyone, but you get pretty dang close when you get a hobby box. And you get pretty dang close to being excited about just whatever else comes when you get an on-card Vlad Guerrero scorching signature. It seriously was scorching. Mackenzie Gore on the rookie there. Okay, we got another color. Not yet. Correa. Here we go. Uh, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant right there. Cool one. Kirloff's base. And then a Nick Lodolo. Nailed it. Should I say it really slow? The penultimate pack. One more after this. And then we will just go over the hits and put three other cards on the throne where they deserve, where they belong. Deserve is not the right word there. We'll see if we can get one more thing to pop. That would be fun. Six cards per pack here, so 12 more cards. Can something pop? Hey, Suzuki. Seriously, every rookie. Luis Gill, even ones you're not super looking for. This is the rookie pack. Gabriel Arias. Bogarts. And then Flaherty. Last pack, Mojo. It's on average two autos. What if they give us three? Just to say thanks. They're short enough, people. They got to have a couple boxes to get three. I would gladly take it. Tell. There's the Ronzi. Acuna base. Wish we were getting all of the uh, people that we got in red. This is just going to be a base back. Well, folks, you don't end with a bang, you end with a fizzle sometimes, but that is the bang right there. On card, Vlad Guerrero. We'll just go quick through the other ones. A Shane Baz flamethrower. We got a couple on fire die cuts. Uh, Julia, or sorry, Jimenez and Shane. We're going to put the uh, To the Moon, Bobby Witt die cut on the throne. I think that's, I think that's deserving. Acuna, Red, uh, Casey Mize out of 199. We got the Miguel Cabrera To the Moon right there. I fired up. Those are nice. A really cool Shohei. Jake Myers, Orange. Pete Alonzo flipping out. Orange, but not numbered. A little confusing there. Wander, rookie. Colton Welker, auto. Jacob deGrom, on fire. Juan Soto, to the moon. Carlos Correa, fired up. And then Ronald Acuna, on fire. So I think you got to throw Julio on the throne. Just because he's, he's the chase. And to just even get him in base... You know, you talk in your mind, what if you pull him in red? What if you get an auto? What if you get a number? But to just get Julio in general, I think is a win to be excited about. And then you got to throw in one other. I'll put the box away so you can see it all. If I were to put in one other, honestly, I didn't even give it an initial sleeve. 
It's tough to say, folks. In the comments, what would you say is the fourth best? See, the the, the top loaders just go to all the die cuts mainly. I honestly think the Shane Boz flamethrower, it has the rookie. It's a cool insert. You gotta love it. Seriously, if you don't, get out of here. And you get the Tampa Bay rookie. Maybe somebody accidentally thinks it's Wonder by just looking at it, you know? There's the top four, I would say, with plenty of other things. You get a lot of the red, just things that you'd say about Ronzi, Kirloff, Piazza. All of these are just a fat stack of rookies that you can pull. So as you're going through Topps Chrome and you're saying, I just wish it had a little more, think about this option right here. And don't get stuck in the ways of Topps Fighters for kids and not something real collectors have. Folks, right now, these are the rookie cards that people are looking for. And you can have them if you go get a hobby box of this. It's sold out. I think people kind of saw the checklist and were like, whoa. Especially the auto checklist on the hobby box. Really huge opportunities for you. Not a guarantee, right? Some are going to have two lame signatures. But some will have an on-card card auto of Vladimir Guerrero Jr., it's a scorching sig, fun to watch. And the signing was actually witnessed by a Topps representative. It's guaranteed authenticity. Panini ain't always on that level. So thank you, Topps, for this wonderful gift. It was a fun one. Get yourself a video. Get yourself a box and watch the next video on Drill Sports Cards. Until next time, y'all, keep ripping. Peace.